Hello everybody and welcome to the plant propagation workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple tactics on how to propagate some of my favorite house plants. House plant production and indoor gardening is a hobby and a passion of mine and I'm very excited that I get to share it with you guys today. I really hope you can learn something and let's get right into the video. All right, so I just want to preface by saying, yes, I'm aware that when I stand up straight, you cannot see my whole head. Um, we're going to pretend like you can because uh, my filming setup is a couple plant stands, a step ladder, and two puzzle boxes, and a book. So, we're just going to pretend like this is the scene of a movie and you guys are watching me in HD, okay? So today we're going to be playing with one plant specifically, and that plant is the Golden Pathos, otherwise known as Devil's Ivy. Let us take a look at a couple of my Golden Pathoses. So first we've got uh, this gorgeous Pathos cascading down my Candy Ohi water machine here, making it all pretty. We've got this lovely lady cascading down my gun safe here. Uh, let's hear it for gun safety. This stays locked at all times. As you can tell with the uh, lock right there, she just cascades all the way down to the floor. Here we've got a little baby that has been in soil for a couple days now. Here we've got a propagation that's been sitting in this jar for a while now, just uh, soaking up the water, getting some roots built up. And inside here we've got a lot of clippings here. Let's zoom in on some of the roots down here that are growing. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I've had these guys in here for about a month, I want to say. This is about a month of root growth. So at the moment, those are the extent of golden pathos that I have right now. Uh, a lot of the times I have a lot more, but I've been propagating and giving so many away that my collection is pretty minimal. You may remember that I've got the two big plants that I keep here and I call those my mother plants because those are the ones that I propagate off of. So let's get right into the first step, clipping. Right now, I'm just looking for the perfect stem to clip off of, and I think I found it down there. Snip! So we took a couple clippings off of the big mama plant today. Um, you'll see in the video that I went right down to some of the parts that we call leggy. So when your plant gets super old and mature, you're going to find that it's going to shoot off um, long, long pieces of plant. And we call that being leggy. So for instance, this, this one that I cut off was very, very leggy. It's, it's very long. There isn't a lot of leaves on it. It, it just it looks out of place. So we call that leggy. And what we do is we snip it right off with our pruners and then we go in and we cut off sections with nodes and leaves. And I'll show you what that looks like. So everywhere on this stem here where you see a leaf coming out is a node. So we've got a node here, 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 etc. So every single place on this little stem where a leaf comes out is called a node. And a node is where the roots will grow. If we look a little bit closer here, if we look really close here, oh, let me get the light on it. You can kind of see a little bit of an indentation coming out of this node right here. And it's not a leaf. You can see it's just a, like a little callus. You can see down here as well, just like a little callus. And what that is, is it's the plant trying to form an aerial root. So this was a perfect, perfect sprig to cut off because when we cut these nodes off by themselves, we've already got this little port right here that wants to make a root. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut off every part of the stem that is not a node. Always cut at an angle as well. And just like that, we have a leaf with a node on it. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm going to cut this whole stem up. I'm going to separate all of the nodes and leaves. Leaf with a node over here, stem over here. Leaf with a node over here, stem over here. Leaf with a node, stem. Leaf with a 
node stem. You only want about half an inch of the stem to stay on there, otherwise we risk finding some rot underneath the water. If you don't have plants like this at home for yourself that you can cut, I'm sure you can find a neighbor, a family member, or a friend, especially grandmas and aunts sometimes will have big plants in their living rooms or kitchens that you can ask if you can cut off some pieces. Here are a couple examples of more easy to propagate plants and how to do so. A philodendron is very similar to a pothos in that it has a leaf with a node. Propagate this just as you would a pothos. Spider plants produce pups, so what that is is you'll see light yellow sprigs like this shoot out of the plant with little pups on it. Down here is a better example. Right here are some little pups, so you would just cut off that yellow stem part right there, and then you can see you've got the node where all the leaves are coming out. When you get to the end of the sprig that you cut off, you're gonna find that no more leaves come. So what you're gonna do is just stop right at the end node, and then you're gonna have a couple leaves on your last one. Same goes for this one. Place one or two clippings into a small vase to achieve more of an aesthetic living decor effect, or place many into a mason jar, and as long as you're refilling the water and cleaning it out to where there's no algae buildup, you can really produce a lot of plants this way. Now, there is a metaphor to be unpacked here. Much like you can break smaller pieces off of the mama plant and nurture them with water and sunlight to grow into larger plants of their own, you as an FFA member can also take advantage of the smaller opportunities within the National FFA organization to help you learn and grow in so many more ways than one. If you have any questions about plant propagation, the science behind it, or anything FFA related at all, please feel free to reach out to me with the following social media platforms. Have an amazing rest of your virtual fall rally experience, and I hope you took something out of this video. Bye!